everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Into the Breach. Our current island is killing it. Would we rather fight Blob Lord or Hornet Lord? I would rather fight Hornet Lord. So I think this is a good second island for us. We'll probably, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but we're probably looking for a two island victory. Just because it's so, like I'm still, victories are still so hard to come by for me. That that's like my dream win scenario right now. Is a two island victory, as sad as that is. One, two, three. You have four movement. Remember, we have that passive, uh, if we knock enemies into things, they take more damage. And then science. What's science lord's ability? Oh, he, uh, when he repairs, he pushes units. He's basically like a, a super science mech now. He's got three attacks. I'm gonna put you here for now. You've only got four movement. One, two, three, four. Ah... Uh, I'm gonna put you here, but you can fly, so that's not bad. Oh, Laser Lord starts with a shield, that's right. So we're gonna start by trying to get some corporate reputation. Okay, early time pod. Great position for a Beam Lord attack. Even better position for a Beam Lord attack. So I gotta think about how we're gonna roll this. I would so love to just push you onto this spawn, because you would take two damage from the spawning. But I could also get a double kill if I could just move the artillery out of the way. And then move you up here. And you're not doing anything, you just suck. Okay. So there's like, there's so many different ways that we could do this. We're supposed to protect the artillery support, I know. It is kind of tempting to just nuke this guy down. So what I'm thinking for now, hear me out here. Pull him back one. Use the artillery to kill this guy. Laser Lord goes here. And then you can move four. You move four and you block this spawn. I really like this turn. So it looks a little bit like this. Just beautiful. All right, so now, we also got a level there. We'll probably get a level on Tank Lord, too. Only one enemy got a chance to spawn that turn. It's extremely easy to deal with. So I think right off the bat, you look at this and you go, it's easy. Artillery God just does that. Laser Lord moves down and creates kind of like an array to mess with units here. Uh, our tank repairs, and science guy. There's technically a better play where we could also shield our tank by moving it over one, but I don't think it's that important. What I'm gonna do here is put a shield on our tank, so that it's not gonna take one damage from the, the first thing that comes out here. We don't even need a repair on our artillery yet, so there's a block. You are a blast scion, which means you need to go. But you're very easy to kill. In fact, we could kill you for free extremely easily. But it's pro it's better for the artillery to kill you. Even though th it does lead to subdivided experience, which I think is okay. Um, it becomes now about what you do with the science. We could easily pull him. We could easily repair. Tank Lord has not moved yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I think Tank Lord's fine where they are. So if we've only got, I mean, a Tank Lord could get a kill. Ah, uh, there's an okay, there's a, there's an okay better play here. Gets a kill. Comes close to leveling up. And then Science God just blocks the, the spawn. So you functionally have a very similar setup for the next turn but it does lead to one extra kill happening. And we got two very weak enemies. That's an easy kill with artillery or laser. That's an extremely easy kill with the tank. So we're gonna have the tank go to town to get experience. Did get the level, beautiful. And then uh, we'd like science guy to get the kill, but that's like not possible. So instead, you know what we'll do? Um, we'll, we'll try to subdivide the experience with the artillery. Sure. Science guy get once gets one experience there. 
Absolutely easy mode. Easy mode fight to start with. We'd love to get two perfect islands, but don't put that evil on me. Okay, so... Pod gave us a reactor core and an acid tank. Uh, the acid tank could allow us to do outrageous damage, plus one mech move on the laser, and plus two mech HP on the tank, which is actually awesome for now. And it's not on the tank, it's on the pilot, but you get the idea. Um, we definitely want to do this to get another reactor core, but first let's see, what are we looking for for reactor cores here? Another use of mercury fist would be nice, or extra movement would also be nice. Although you're already at four. Plus one damage each is potentially doable, but I'm, I'm not fully convinced. And then our defense mech, plus one move on you is not bad, but... Again, we, we don't really have space for the acid tank unless we get rid of something. Uh, which we might like the acid tank plus mercury fist to kill bosses, but... I don't know. For now, we didn't even use the mercury fist last time, but... It's good to know that it's there, I suppose. For now, let's uh, install this and... I think it's probably safest to go for ally immune on the beam and then we can pivot to plus one use or plus one damage as necessary. The thing is right now we're not going to be encountering anything with five uh, attack. I think. Unless you have five. You know what? Let's take one use more damage. No. Well we don't need more damage because if we're next to a unit the laser will already deal three so yeah. Let's, let's stick with what we got here. I'm okay with this. Ally immune on the beam is maybe more extensible. How much HP do you have? Four. So the alpha fist will still kill you. Mercury fist, whatever. We definitely want to kill the blast scion. We got four units turn one, which is really bad. But destroying the dam is very good. Well, I'll tell you straight away. I think you got one HP. I wish you had more. I think we still have an okay turn here. We Mercury Fist. But before we Mercury Fist, we have to kill this Blast Scion. So it'd be like this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Billy. Look at this. Okay. Attraction pulse. Block spawn plus enemy dead. Enemy dead. World's greatest mercury fist. Look at that. Oh, you almost got me. Just kidding. Oh, you almost got me. Just kidding. Now you're dead. And we... Oh, we did get an alpha... Uh, jerk hole. I can kill him. I can. I sorta can. Allies are immune. Yeah, okay, this is actually the play then. Something like this. Almost destroys the dam as well, which we can do hopefully with a beam on a future turn. My lord. When things start to tick, you just feel like so... We, we're overpowered right now, which has never happened to us over the course of this entire game. Where are you going? Okay, so you're dead. You're also easily dead. Use the dam to drown the Vec. So I feel you, don't get me wrong. But this is where we're gonna see if a turn resets in order. Well, it'll just kill you anyway. Okay, undo move. We have to destroy the dam. That's, like, it's just no contest, but... Yo. Yo! Watch this! That's not what I meant. This is what I meant. Look at that. Heal up. Push him onto the spot. I kind of... 
kind of got to be real with you. I'm looking at this like it's probably much more valuable to block a spawn. Although, no, maybe not. With only two enemies, let's do this. It'll also burst the dam. We won't die in the process. And we've created a, a, something that's impossible for non-flying units to pass. They do. They are long-range units, unfortunately, but... You're dead. Like, you're so dead. Look at that. I'm almost thinking we should shuffle around pilots here to get easier experience on our science god, but you know, as as is necessary, I guess we'll approach it. Okay. So we did get a reactor core for defending the defense lab. And we were intending on using that to uh to upgrade the damage to Mercury Fist, or alternatively, the uses of Mercury Fist. Let's start with damage. Less than four mech damage, or do not kill Volatile Vec. I will always take less than four mech damage. The real problem on this, if we want to get Perfect Island, is that it's going to be very tough for us to... Uh, this guy's got to go to a mech fist, or a, you know what I, what I mean. Um, the real problem with it is that uh, we can't block spawns often. All right, this is really bad, uh, and we might. How do you how do you shoot? And also, how can she slap? Uh, what's your attack? Show me your attack. What does it look like? You attack two tiles. Okay, I see a play. This guy has to go if we're not going to take grid damage. Mind you, I really want to just nuke that guy. But I think the way we do it instead is this. Boom! They're all dead. Tank comes here. Can it get there? It might not be able to get there. It definitely will not be able to get there. The reason, like, I, I don't want to... But this, you block... You reduce one damage. How much damage do you do? Just two? Okay, you're going to tank two damage then. And that's absolutely completely okay. Or alternatively, we can have Science Lord shield you or move you. Ooh, but you already have a shield. The thing is, we, I want to kill this guy. I don't see any... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Undo move. Mechs take double damage from getting bumped. We, re oh, we still need to kill Blast Lord first, though. Very true. I think it's a better way to deal with it, but... I think you're, like, better off being here. Try to bait out an attack like that. I don't know, repair and move the tank one tile over? Not necessary, I think. So we're gonna have three units next turn. We killed two really problematic units this turn, and we know the Alpha Hornet will die in one hit. Okay, this is very good actually very good so this turn we're going to destroy the alpha hornet which i think was very necessary i'm just trying to see like if there's any way i could finish my turn on two of the spawn points and I'm not convinced unless no I'm still not convinced but well I am convinced but it'll leave a hornet alive but hornets are pretty weak how many you have five spaces of movement maybe you're not that weak maybe I'd rather just kill you So hear me out here. Look at that. Another achievement somehow. They're just giving those away for free these days? Well, it's not like I could be good at the game or anything, so... We still got two units coming out, and I am on fire. 
Which is actually very bad. You're gonna die to fire damage, so your your life is irrelevant to me. Uh, I think this is a very easy turn. Unless, could I take you all the way down to here? Yes, I could. And then repair. And then have you... You're not going to be able to get onto the spot, though. No. That's the problem there. It's still probably better this way, because we get the repair out of it. See what I mean? Like that? Yeah. Blast them. Repair. Repair. We're about to take two mech damage. No, we didn't kill him. He had four HP. Reset turn. Total brain fart. Complete brain fart. We almost ruined our perfect island bonus as well. So this guy can't be killed the, the easy way at least. If we kick him into the fire, he'll be dead next turn before he can do anything. But we are going to take one mech damage. Or, hear me out here, kick him into the fire. Laser both of them for the XP. We've taken three mech damage. Then you move and repair. Oh, can you repair? Please tell me that you can repair and put out that guy's fire. He's still on fire, so... Oh, but we're on two mech damage now, so we have a little bit to work with. <laughs> we're keeping the perfect island alive, boys. Don't attack any buildings. Okay, that's... I wish you didn't. So, you've got to get killed, you've got to repair. And you've got to get pulled. Something like this. This. Yeah, that'll work. And then you, glorious tank lord, repair. Look at that! Another textbook mission. We're really on a roll with this squad now. No matter what, we got another five corporate rep to spend at the end of this island. And we go Ohm Town? Or we go... We definitely go Ohm Town. Even though we could use grid power, I hate not killing Volatile Vec. This spawn is very bad. Uh, we want to be able to kill Alpha Digger turn one. And... One, two, three, four. Absolutely kill Blast Scion turn one. This map is congested. These are two extremely valuable enemies. You're still killable in one turn. You're an issue, and you're attacking a silo. Yeah, this is not great. Um, but actually, it's great. Because... Ah, I won't kill you. It'll just do two damage. It will ob obliterate both rocks, though. Well, I can't let you kill both satellites. That's a fairly easy thing to divine. But if I kill you, uh, we're, we're gonna lose one satellite. I'm annoyed about it, but I, I really, I'm looking at it and I'm going, I don't, what do we do? <laughs> Wait. You go there and repair. Which pushes all the enemies one tile over and kills the volatile Scion. You shoot this guy. Wait, do we even need to? We don't even need to. What a world. Although, if I don't do this, you can get on the spawn. Could you get over there in four? Two, three, four. No, absolutely not. And it won't kill you. 
Okay, we have to do it this way, I think. But I mean, look at that. That's a, That turn is a thing of beauty. And you've got 2 HP? I'd still rather just kill you. That was beautiful. I, there's nothing else I can say, except for like that... We're, we've got such a handle on the situation right now that it's gorgeous. Alright, so the satellite is gonna pop off here. Laser Lord is getting pretty close to leveling. So we're just gonna stay, uh, stay strong here. Two enemies will spawn, but we've got three units. And our Mercury Fist still exists, so... Uh, we got two fairly easy kills, but not as easy as our previous situation, I think. Like, you're easily killed, obviously. And the only unit that can get to you is you. The only other option would be if we had defense mech pull you one tile down. And then the tank could kill you, but then we're not blocking as many spawns as I'd like, you know? So... I'm thinking you're the best option in my opinion is we move repair and you're gonna obliterate yourself on this spawn point I think I'm gonna move the tank up one and repair and then laser Lord is just gonna pick up the trash we've only got two enemies coming out next turn everybody's on full HP for now dude this is the smoothest into the breach run we've ever had. It's a thing of beauty right now. Easiest kill. Um, I worry about, yeah, Alpha Hornet's a little trickier, but he's not doing anything. Like, he's attacking nothing, so. I would prefer to kill you for experience. And we could get there, and you're gonna say, no you can't, and I'm gonna say, yes I can. Watch this. Repair to push. Tank Lord. Obliterates him into the mountain. Both satellites protected. You're welcome, hometown. Is this a speed run? I don't know, guys. I don't know what's come over me. The ghost of Gary Kasparov, who is, is at the time of this recording still alive, has possessed me. And all of a sudden, I'm like, sorry, Viswanth and Anand. Checkmate. I win again. It's a little bit of a chess joke for those of you amongst us who uh, are of the persuasion. Now, I hate you. I hate you all. We got too many alphas right off the bat. You know, too many cooks in the kitchen. We got to kill one this turn. We'd like to kill the blast scion this turn, and then science lord. I think you're playing a support role for now. If we lose grid power, that's fine. We need the perfect island bonus. How much HP do you have? You only have three, so that's an easy kill. You have five. That's where things become annoying. So there's a couple of like plays that seem somewhat simplistic. You blast him. Blast him. So you probably do this first. And then you would just pull this guy over and he would actually yeah, I think that's I think that's our line, even though it doesn't block spawns. There is a better play. There is. What if we blast him? It is gonna take our shield off. But we get to stand here. Then Laser Lord blasts him. But then can you still pull? You could but we'd have to do it in like a weird order. Instead, that would involve doing a shield. Could we? But it does block two spawns. I think that that's worth it. So it would be like this. You'd hit him into me. Take my shield off, but kill him. Then I'd be free to come here, stand on this spawn, and murder this guy. Ah, uh, we'd also all take one damage from the explosion of this guy. 
But I think that that's a risk I'm willing to take, honestly, to block two spawns. Then we're only gonna have one HP. You know what? I'm gonna reset turn. I think I, and we haven't used this very much. Turn one is so important. I think I like the earlier line better. Although it does, it only blocks one spawn, but I think that's okay. And we like standing here. Standing here is fine. So we'll smack you. And we'll shoot you. And then we'll stand on this spawn and pull you one over. I think that's fine. We're only going to have two enemies. We really want to hit the boss with the Mercury Fist and another attack if possible. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I will be able to Mercury Fist. Mercury Fist will not kill you, but a Mercury Fist plus a tank will? <laughs> Happy learned the putt. Repair? You're now dying to spawn. But... Oh, I gotta admit, I'm looking at it and I'm like, would I rather kill... It's better to kill both of you. It's not as cute, but we still only have two enemies to deal with next turn as a result. So you're like, you're insanely dead. And in fact, you're, you're so dead, I'm mad. Because your death is so easy, I don't even need to think about it. We actually just repair. Walk down, oh, no, 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 undo that one. Wow, I'm not going to be able to block any spawns without shooting buildings. Well, I'll be able to block one. Of my choice. Um... I'd rather block one with the dude with the shield. Especially because this guy takes no damage from doing attacks. Might as well repair. No, we might. There's no need. There's no need. We're so set. Oh, we're blocking two spawns anyway because they're already standing on a good spot. This is. I, I was doing so well, I outthought myself. And I was like, there's no way this could be possibly correct. Anyway, you gotta die. Uh, you know what? I know our laser lord is close to leveling up. So we're gonna take it. I was thinking we could get an easy science kill, and those are harder to come by. Well, you're th 41 away, 31 away. You're 13 away, okay. We'll take it. Yo, though. Good Samaritan achievement. Our second perfect island. Nine corporate reputation. Another achievement unlocked. Defensive shrapnel fires a non-damaging projectile that pushes tiles around the target. Plus two grid defense. We already have this guy unlocked, and we already have three special pilots, right? Don't we? Just hit wait for a second. We, we have three special pilots, yeah. So I think, we're weirdly enough, we're going to take the grid defense. We're already full on weapons, and we like them all. So we get two, one power and then two extra grid defense. Let's spend our rep. Astro bombs. Leap over any distance, dropping a bomb on each tile you pass. It seems obviously cool. Passive. Mechs no longer take damage when blocking emerging back. Does require one power. Is that better than anything we've got right now? I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. This also seems great, but I've, I love everything we've got. To be real with you. Uh, I'm going to... I think I'm going to sell our acid tank. And then I'm going to buy three reactor cores. And we just got another achievement. And one grid defense to go up to 19. And I am going to go for the two island victory. And I know you're going to say, NL, you're a baby. You, comments, you can't have it both ways. Oh, this video is so bad. Oh, by the way, don't take the easy victory. We need easy victories. So we can get more achievements to unlock stuff. And so I can get a confidence boost, quite honestly. 
So let's take our three reactor cores. We can go for plus one damage on beam, plus one use on mercury fist, both valuable. Plus one damage to the enemy alone. This could kill a five enemy, five HP enemy in one hit. It's really good. Requires all of our cores. Shields getting extra area. It's kind of tempting, right? But I gotta be real with you. I'm kind of looking at like plus one use. And maybe, we don't really want to take off move. We certainly don't want to take that off. We do, you don't need extra health. You haven't needed it so far. Um, an extra move on the Science Lord? It's a little weak, but something to do. All right, and we're just going to do it right now. We're going to go for the two island victory right now. I know some of you are going to be like, I'm never going to forgive you for this. Honestly, so be it. We're just getting our way out of the volcano here. I want to take the easy victory here because we haven't had that many easy victories. We had a lot of tough ones, and I've honestly have taken a lot of flack in the comments. So you, the thing, when things are going well, I'm going to take every advantage I can conceivably get here. Now, the beam is very dangerous right now. Lots of power around us. Let's stop focusing on the meta campaign and start focusing on the real business right now, which is getting a win here. Okay, so turn one's very valuable, very important. Want to Mercury Fist this guy. Don't really want to lose grid power for essentially any reason. You gotta go. You're extremely annoying. Although, if I hit you for two and knock you onto the spawn, you're gonna die and block an enemy. So that's tempting, but then how do we kill this guy? We can't get over to there quite a strange way to ex express that. Um, okay, no, I think I have a line. Robot, you come here. Uh, but then if you repair, it's kind of like who cares? You do push these enemies and allow us to get some kills. You block an enemy, but you only... They have two HP left. And they're still gonna be alive. So then it would be like, tank murders this guy. Not going this way, because it'll kill the building. And then ro uh, laser robot would murder this guy. So we are taking out 5 HP. What's another line that we could look at there? I know it's probably hard to envision like this, but... Um, tank push him onto this spot. But then he's definitely going to hit a building. So I, as much as that looks good, and it also kills this guy and blocks the spawn... We still take grid damage. And I, we could get away with it, but I'd rather not have to. Laser Lord could kill you. Science Lord can't really kill you in a productive fashion. He can push you, and that's not bad. What if Science Lord comes here, pushes you, You come here, knock this guy into the drink, but then, yeah, there's no space for you. Come here, push him down on top of it. No, it doesn't, we, undo move. I think we gotta accept our earlier line, which I almost don't even remember now. You come here, repair to push all the units. Tank murders this guy, laser murders this guy. The only other thing I can think of right now is we alpha fist on this guy. Then we would tank destroy this one, which would also take away our shield and push this guy, but I don't like it as much. I think I like this line better because it blocks a spawn, even though it doesn't quite kill the Alpha Hornet. I suppose the other thing is we could go here and have this guy shoot the Alpha Hornet, but that doesn't block spawn, so I don't like it as much. Really, turn one, in my opinion, we take out the trash. Next turn, we got three enemies, we got three units. I like that map. One of the units is gonna be at half HP. Okay, I don't like Cockroach Man, and I certainly don't like Alpha Cockroach Man. They are close to environmental hazards. Okay, so that looks like a job for Beam Lord. You're gonna die before you do anything, which is exquisite.
Yeah, like I think Beam Lord basically has to murder you. And then Tank Lord, you're just going to move and then this guy's going to kill himself. I have an amazing play. Beam Lord, get like here to block a spawn. And by Beam Lord, I mean Science Lord. You are going to move here. And then you're going to move here. Here's my line, okay? Science guy, doesn't really matter what you do. Anything but repair is good, actually. Um, you are going to shoot you in... Actually, repair would work fine. Ah, actually, repair might work... Not better, though, no. Um, you're going to attack this guy and kill him. And also kill the rock. Not Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but you know, like the rock that's sitting here. I thought that was going to block spawn, but it is going to destroy the rock in the process, unfortunately. Let me think, actually. Can you get... Okay. I'm like, is this even better now? No, it'll still kill the... There's no way to do it without killing the rock. Okay, because I, I really would like the rock to be on top of the spawn. What I was thinking now is like, this guy comes here and then the tank comes here, boom, smashes him in. Wait, that actually is better. No, it isn't. Because it's only going to do two damage in that case. It's still bad. Just Oh, but then he's going to take two damage from the spawn spawning of the enemy. I am an actual human genius. We can reset if necessary after we attack. Watch this. Repair. Now we're blocking that spawn. Tank Lord. Oh, but our science mech is going to get hit for two. I think that that's okay in the whole scheme of things. Considering that this is going to block two enemies from spawning. And then you would just smack. So sadly, this guy was going to die automatically. We didn't have to do this. Oh, he's not going to die automatically either. He's just going to be lit on fire. So you're going to hit me for two, which I wish you wouldn't. Oh, and there's still going to be a spawn on the... I, I, that's a very good example of outthinking yourself. I outthought myself there. All right, so you're bad. I really wish you hadn't gone there, because I had a great line. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm just looking at it, and I, I did kind of screw it up. I'll level with you there. Beam Lord, easy KO, right? You are also easy to kill. The question becomes, can the... T oh! Watch and learn. Look at this Tank Lord, Science Lord sandwich. Shoot, he's dead. Attack, he's dead. He's not dead. Repair, they both die. We're not blocking any spawns. Who cares? Who wants the XP? Tank Lord wants the XP. Actual tactical god. Go ahead, surface! See if I care. Okay, you have to move tank. If you don't attack buildings, I win. They're not attacking buildings. Do I need to tell you what happens in that situation? You're a Scion Tyrant. That means we lose an HP per turn, right? Who cares? Well, we do care. Sadly, right now you look like you're going to live. I'd really like to not take any damage is the thing. So I think you dust up the Scion Tyrant. Like so. Use Tank Lord to push this guy out of the way. And there's, actually, now that I think about it. Do we, we want Tank Guy to get experience. Oh, we can't push him though. We can't push him the way we want to push him. 
Or can't, no. Hold up. <laughs> no, I, I wish there was like a redo move. Okay, let, well, I don't know why I'm getting so like precious about it. We should just do things the simple way, which would be destroy. And we got a promotion, destroy. No promotion for us. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Nobody's standing on a hazard, right? Good. But this is gonna push our mech into the lava, which I would suggest is probably not worth it. So I'll tell you what, let's undo that move. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter. We might as well just repair here. Who cares? End turn. Great first half of the final battle, in my opinion. We, all of our resources get uh, reset for the second level anyway. So like, it's not like we benefit by not using a Mercury Fist, but... I'm still happy. Okay, so we got all the ability to work with here when we go for island victory. It's always harder, but we do have shields we can use, don't forget about those. Right off the bat, I'm looking at Alpha Hornet and you're priority number one. You gotta go. Don't worry about it, Science Lord. We got the Renfield Bomb. We got the combination Science Lord and Renfield Bomb. All right, where are you going? You're dead. How much HP do you have? You might not be dead. Now we can lose as much grid power as is necessary here. You got three HP? You got a lot of HP. So much so that I wish you had less. So I'm looking and right off the bat, I love this play with Tank Lord. Why does everybody have to be a lord, by the way? I don't make the rules. Tank Lord knocks an Alpha Scarab into the drink and blocks a spawn. You move over here and you're gonna Mercury Fist this dude for five damage, which is pretty solid. Oh, oh, it's, it's magic. You know, couldn't believe it's not so. If we wanna sack two Renfields, uh, no, there's a better play. Yeah, okay. Check this out. Science Lord goes here, repairs, pushes this guy into this spot, and the Renfield Bomb doesn't get hit by push damage anymore. So let's try this out, make sure it works. You're still hitting the Renfield Bomb for two. Are we gonna accept two damage to the Renfield Bomb? It's pretty bad when the Psionic Tyrant comes back. But we can shield it later if strictly necessary. And I gotta be real with you, it makes turn one so good. I think I'm gonna continue to roll with it. You're only doing two damage, right? That's not order two? Two damage. I'm gonna live with it. But it's it's admittedly dicey. Now you're dead. Your shot gets blocked, not that it matters. You're so close to death. You're dead. And we're blocking a spawn. So there's only gonna be... Two, there's gonna be three enemies next turn, which is the magic number. I didn't even pay attention to the hazards at all. So again, that sucks. And we need to kill this, the psionic tyrant when it comes out. You're super dead. There's some very, very good plays here. Um, three, three. Like some very, 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 uh, very, very good plays here. I really don't want you to shoot a building, but I feel like we're in such an amazing spot. What are you attacking? You're attacking down? I do need- I'd prefer to stop you from hitting grids. But there, maybe there's an achievement for winning with full grid power, so we should pay attention to that. Um, so, we got many goals. Block spawns. It's a big one. <sighs> I, 
It's so easy to do it and lose grid power. And that makes me upset, because I really don't want to lose grid power. Like, if we don't care about losing grid power, we just go here, repair, these two units die. Oh, actually, you wouldn't die, so it's not as good as I had originally thought. Fair enough. There's a couple of plays. We uh, move, obviously. And then, like, tank, laser? Let's see how that would look. Like, move, block a spawn. Pull this enemy one closer. L uh, we have to tank them first. And that would kill? You know, wouldn't do anything to you, would it? So you'd still be alive with two HP. And the laser would only do one. So let's, let's think about some other moves. We could go here, pull this guy back, he'll hit nothing and then die. Tank Lord this guy to death. Laser this guy. Then two enemies spawn. But two enemies is good. No, only one enemy spawns. One enemy's even better. Watch this. Oh no, two enemies spawn because of this guy. That's fine. But we this guy tank lord has to move regardless, so. You die to the uh hazard. Okay. I had a I took like a sharp breath of intake there because I thought that I left my unit on the hazard, but I did not. So one enemy spawns and it sucks. It's doing nothing. It seems easy uh to just use the science mech to push this unit into the drink. You probably use the laser mech to block this guy. Just to, we want enemies far away from the Renfield bomb. And then leave Tank Lord where he is. I, I kind of like this move right here. You want to leave Tomo? You're going to miss the, the fireworks, buddy. It just prevents a unit from getting close enough to attack the Renfield bomb, and the science unit kind of has the other point covered, so... And I honestly think you just repair? We're only... It, we got one turn left, and we've got two units. That are gonna... Three units are gonna spawn, I should say. I left my science unit on a hazard. <laughs> what an idiot. So all that being said, we're still going to win. I don't think we can win with zero grid damage anymore. Like, obviously I can kill you. What are you going to do? I don't know. You can come over here and zap this guy, but you'll die. We kind of want our pilots to live because we... Oh, it doesn't really matter because we... Well, actually, it does matter. Who do we want to live? I think we want Bethany to live. Because she's max level. She's got a lot of good stuff. So, really, I'm just going to say Abe. Because you don't have any other real options here. Yeah. Abe, it's been fun. If you're going to go out... You don't have to go out. But why not minimize grid damage, right? There you go. Congratulations on the promotion, Abe. Hopefully nothing befalls you, like being stuck on a hazard tile. Uh, and then you, just don't put you on a hazard tile. Just defend the Renfield bomb. We're safe. It doesn't matter what you do. You're gonna, this is gonna get hit. You got nothing you can do to stop it. Well, you could go over there and smash them with the Alpha Fist. But I think you just accept. No citizens are dying. We're just losing grid power. Unless they get a resist, which would be exceptional. But Oh my god, I forgot about the Psionic Tyrant. Goodbye, Abe. Doesn't matter. We win. Not a glamorous finish, necessarily, but a good victory. And this is the first time I've ever won with the Beam Lords, so I'm super happy about that. Even if it's a two-island victory, you can't take it away from me. We got, like, four achievements on this one. 
I had a great time on this into the breach run. How many? We lost like 50 pilots. Hey, thanks to the valiant efforts of Bethany Jones. <laughs> Bethany Jones and me saving us from oblivion. And I sacrificed all of my colleagues. Eight! <laughs> well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Now we're cooking with gas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.